In this lesson we will be looking at instantaneous rate of change, in particular how it compares to an average rate of change. Uh, so let's look at an example. Uh, we, we know that the number of passengers boarding an airplane at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport can be modeled by the function n of t equals a negative 0 0.0123 t cubed plus 0.1975 t squared minus 0.8319 t plus 5.2471 where n is in millions of people and t is the year since 2000 and t is between 1 and 10. So let's look at some of the rates of change of this function using Excel. If we go to a new spreadsheet in Excel, I have created a table of values where column A is T values 1 to 10 and column B is the function values for each corresponding value of T. And all I've done is typed in our formula, the function that we are given, and instead of using T, I've used cell references to A2. And then if you copy the formula down, it'll generate all these values for you. So the first thing, let's look at an average rate of change. So let's copy the first two values of our table. And let's just go a little further down. Let's compute an average rate of change. So an ARC, which I'll put in column C. And if you remember, average rate of change is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in Excel, that will look like equals parentheses. And for y2, we're going to use the cell B15 minus y1, which is cell B14. And then we close the parentheses to close the numerator. Divided by, we open another set of parentheses for the denominator x2 is a15 minus x1 which is a14 and we close the parentheses. Now let's look specifically at the average rate of change from 3 to 6. So from t equals 3 to 6 we get an average rate of change of 0 0.1707 what that means is from t equals 3 to t equals 6 the function increased on average by 0 0.1707 per year. Let's try and look at instantaneous rate of change and again we'll copy the little table that we just made and we're going to go up and start in column E the very top first row. I'm going to paste that new table at the top so everything's the same but instead of 3 to 6 Let's go from t equals 3 to 3.1. So this is only for basically one-tenth of a year. Uh, the average rate of change is 0 0.02956. And let's repeat this table. We're going to do it several times again. So we'll go down to the fifth row and paste it. We'll go down to the ninth row and paste it. And one more time in the thirteenth row and we'll paste it. So let's go back to each of these tables and change the second t value. And we're gonna we want the t values to be closer and closer to three. So in the first one again we have three point one. And then the next table I want it to be three point oh one. And then in the next table I want it to be three point oh oh one. And in the last table, so the fourth time, we'll go three point zero 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 one. So each of these tables has an average rate of change between 3 and a number close to 3. If you look down each of these tables, the second t value is closer and closer and closer to the 3. What pattern might we see in the average rate of change values? As the t values get closer and closer, the average rate of change goes from 0 0.029 to 0 0.021, and it stays at 0 0.021 and it still stays at 0 0.021. Okay, some of the digits on the end are changing, but they're actually getting smaller and smaller. We're actually computing a limiting value here. So as we look down this column G, 
the average rate of change values are getting closer and closer to one specific number. In this case, it's 0 0.021. This tells us two things that we've looked at. First, the number of passengers boarding airplanes at RDU increased by an average of 0 0.1707 million people per year from 2003 to 2006. This was the average rate of change the change per year over several year period. The second thing is that the number of passengers boarding airplanes at RDU increased by 0 0.021 million people in 2003. This is the instantaneous rate of change. The main difference between an instantaneous rate of change and an average rate of change is that an average rate of change gives you the change per year in this case over a multiple year period whereas the instantaneous rate of change gives you the change per year but only during a one year time. Average rate of change is the change over an interval. Instantaneous rate of change is the change at a point in time.